It's just, it feels very much like, uh, like, kind of leaving home. Because it's bittersweet, because I know that the, the next, you know, bit on my journey is going to be really exciting and really wonderful because of the show. Um, but leaving it is incredibly sad. It really is. It's been truly remarkable. I've had an undreamt of experience as an actor. As an actor, you cannot ever hope to be involved with a project like this, to have a regular wage, to be a part of a, not just a success, but a phenomenon uh, that has been a, a main point of popular culture for these times. And um, I feel hugely grateful and I'm, I'm enjoying it tonight. It's so strange that to speak as somebody who's been in all eight seasons and was in the very first season, we had no idea at the start what it was going to turn into. And, and you know, people who joined later, like people who joined in, even in season two and three, the show wasn't quite where it is now, obviously, but they got a sense of what they were joining and a sense of the kind of ambition of it and the scale of it. But back in season one, we had no kind of idea. And it was a real gamble for everybody. It was a real gamble for HBO to do a fantasy series. They'd never done one before. And to be honest, I'm slightly overwhelmed, especially coming in here. It's kind of like, wow, this is, this is pretty insane that this is fine over. I mean, it's kind of felt like this is something that is never, ever going to end. And here we are ending it in the most spectacular way I think I've ever seen. Well, I'm feeling many things. But one a big thing I'm feeling is excitement for what I'm about to see because I haven't seen anything. And uh, I'm a huge fan. So I'm like, I'm as hungry as everybody else for some, <laughs> for some more Game of Thrones. Uh, and there's a surreal element, you know, all this fuss and the fact that this is actually happening and I'm walking down a red carpet and, and I can look back at those those eight, nine years and wow, you know, how, uh, how blessed and lucky I've been to be part of such an incredible, incredible kind of phenomena and a uh, beautiful bunch of people. It feels like the, the end of school. I remember John Bradley saying that when we were filming because you know, it comes to an end and there are people that you know you're going to see again. You just have to make the effort now. You know, you can't rely on those six months in Belfast every year where you're going to get to hang out and spend time with your mates, but you've got to try. And people are busy, you know, it's, it's chock full of really, really talented actors, a few heroes of mine as well. And it's going to be hard to pin them down. We have such an amazing team. They're like, you couldn't have asked, you couldn't have asked for a better group of people and a more talented group of people. And it's just like bittersweet really that it's coming to an end. I think it's lifted the bar on how we tell stories, um, or especially over a long period of time. Um, uh, serial wise, I think it's uh, extraordinary. And also the, the, the characters and the, and the depth of, 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 of the characters and the, the amount of characters. I think I'm gonna miss the stunt department because those guys are the best stunt department in the world. What they have done throughout every single season is amazing. Then I'm going to miss Dan and David because they've actually become very good friends of mine. And I'm going to miss the cast and crew. I'm going to miss everyone except the catering. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.